John, thanks for the invitation to Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. Now, this cell behind us uh, does its rounds through Europe, but it's in the UK. Why? Well, thanks for uh, coming, Mark, this morning. It's a great opportunity here to explain what we're doing with this cell. It's a, a white light automated measurement cell, and it's actually an automated version of a manual system that we've been supplying to our customers for years. So based on customer demand, Hexagon have been moving into the automation arena, and this particular configuration of cell is one that we've designed so that it can be transferred between all the commercial operations around Europe. So it's here in the UK, we're measuring lots of customer parts, drumming up lots of interests, and hoping to generate some business. Now, automation industry for smart factories, is this where your customers are demanding intelligence and obviously you're offering that to them? Absolutely, industry 4.0, big data, these are all big buzzwords in the industry and this system actually is part of our sort of solution in terms of offering the customer what they need. So this particular system would actually sit in production on the shop floor as opposed to being a system that would measure a finished part. We can give big data, lots of results in real time as the customer are manufacturing their parts. So instead of throwing good money against a bad part, they know instantly if they need to tweak the process. We can even alert the customer to when the process is going slightly out so that they can make some tweaks whilst maintaining good part production. Now obviously this cell is a solution providing product. Does the size of the part matter? Absolutely not. We talked about this particular cell here. This one can fit on the back of a lorry so we can move it around from site to site throughout Europe. Um, we can offer any configuration of robots, optical sensors, turntables. Uh, we have an unlimited sort of uh, configuration. John, tell me about the part that's on this cell. Well, as you can see, the part we've got at the moment is uh, a cylinder head. It's a casting from the automotive industry. But that's not to say that we can't measure any part on the, on the system. At the end of the day, it takes optical tiles, 350 millimeters square. So whatever you put on the machine, it will measure. The, the system traditionally has been used in the automotive industry and that's where it made a name for itself, for its speed and its environmental resilience, so it's very much suitable to go on the shop floor. But in recent years, with the advent of, uh, of a lot of global aerospace programs, we've had good success in the aerospace industry measuring wings whilst operators are actually on the wing and the wing's moving because this system doesn't require the object to be totally stationary when we take the measurements. It's also particularly res resilient to temperature, so if there are any changes to temperature on the shop floor, the robot will sense that, and we can use the thermal calibration object to account for movements in the robot. So, yeah, we can pretty much measure anything on one of these systems. So, a lot of the sectors, does their shop floor change in temperature, it, depending what sort of sector you're looking at? Absolutely. I mean, ideally, these systems are deployed on the shop floor because that's where they give the customer the most value. You know, we're looking to give the customers speed and confidence in their manufacturing processes. That's what this system's all about. So when you place the system on a shop floor, especially in wonderful England where we live, or Great Britain, you can see the, the temperature fluctuating massively on a daily basis, the humidity, the pressure. Uh, as forklift trucks drive past, you get a lot of environmental secondary uh, effects on the system, but we're resilient to all of that. We don't need any powder. We don't need to stick it in a separate room or a separate box. It's there on the shop floor, exactly where the customer needs it, and that's what makes it such a quick system. And if I was an automotive customer, uh, how long would it take me to actually measure that on a CMM in consideration to this cell? Okay, that's a great question. Compared to a CMM, it's kind of like night and day. Now, that's not to say that the customer won't require CMMs to do a full audit check, but where this system really comes into its own is on the shop floor, where, for example, you can see this cylinder head here being measured in about three to four minutes. So the ideal profile for one of these systems would be on the shop floor where the customer needs a quick check for stampings or for a part within a particular operation or part of his manufacturing process. He can bring it to the system, put it in a fixture on the turntable, select which program he needs from the, uh, the operator interface, and the program's measured in two or three minutes, then he moves on to the next stage of the process. And these type of cells, are they just aimed for blue chip companies in the UK? Absolutely not. You know, um, blue chip companies will benefit from multiple cells, and in fact that's where the majority of our installations have been, but the manual versions of these systems, or in fact a small robotized automated version, will be fine for any customer that makes any part. If we're talking about blue chip companies, one of the big success stories we've had uh, and have really taken the whole industry 4.0 hexagon automated solutions on board is SEAT in Spain. Um, they're using a whole host of hexagon equipment. They've got CMMs, manual gauges, automated white light systems, the full suite of systems. They're really benefiting from the connectivity that all of these, these items of equipment give them. All the data is being fed into one system. 
uh, HSQ, Hexagon Smart Quality. This system then takes all of that data, thinks about it and acts upon it, and then sends that back into the manufacturing loop. So John, could you tell me where this cell fits into the Hexagon philosophy of sensing, thinking and acting? Oh, that's another good question. I'll be delighted to answer. Clearly we can see the optical head here doing the sensing, so what we're actually doing is gathering the data in square tiles, that's surface data as well as feature data. So that data then flows into the software, which does the thinking. It's a very powerful software that can present and analyze the data for the customer or the user in a multitude of ways. So we can have full body color maps instantly in real time. We can have detailed feature data compared to GD&T tolerances, tables of data, databases filled with data. That's what the software does, and that's the thinking side of things. Now, in terms of acting, generally that will be programmed by the customer. How do they want to act on the data that we present? But with Hexagon's new HSQ, Hexagon Smart Quality Solution, we can actually do a lot of that acting on behalf of the customer. The customer will specify what algorithms or actions he wants to take, and the software will alert the user when there's a particular issue that needs to be corrected. John, what sets you apart from your competitors with this sale? Uh, another good question. We're particularly proud of this cell for its performance on the shop floor. So we don't need to powder the part. We can take shiny surfaces, carbon fiber surfaces, all manner of material finishes. We don't need to put targets on the part when we need to measure it. So it's literally a matter of dropping it onto the machine on the shop floor uh, and pressing the green button to get your results. Uh, I mean, in summary, this system fits in really well with Hexagon's really broad portfolio of, uh, of equipment. Um, ultimately, it's best suited to the shop floor where quality drives manufacturer productivity.